Yo, what's up, guys? What's up? What's up? I'm back again with another video. And guys, I'm primarily working with this for today. I'll show you guys uh, what I did. I cleaned my trim. And I'll show you guys how the mineral oil can work on trim, too. As well as it did, as you guys going to see the video of coming up with the tires. The mineral oil on tires. Okay. So y'all see that, and now I'm about to show you guys how I do on clean trim. I took my trim, I cleaned it with totally awesome, as you can see right there. And uh, I said I'll get a freshly clean before I get a clean surface before I start this procedure. And then I got to move on to another video, okay? Clean my tires a little. Just been primarily tinkering around with this truck for today. Just be doing some. Then major, you know, and um, yeah, guys, what we're working with, okay. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my stuff together here, okay. All right, bring you guys the blessing of the mineral oil <laughs> on trim, man, okay. Some people use it on the body. But um, I'm pretty sure you could use it right for your paint. If you got faded paint, use it for that. Okay. No, man, I always come up with a solution how to make a vehicle look better. Okay. Now, me personally, I already got enough of the, of the product applied to the applicator. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to smooth it here, as you can see. It's clean. I just naturally cleaned it. And it came to a little bit of shine just by cleaning it really, really well. As good as possible. I'm going to show you guys. Now, you really don't want to uh, grease it down too much. You want to keep it where it still looks clean and stuff. Now, I'm using the mineral oil. We're just going to try it out here on trim. And we'll see what it do. Here we go. I'll do this little area. And you see what this does is give it like a little pop. All the coloration that you might see. See here, guys. Kind of go down there and give it some pop. See there? And uh, you could knock it back down with a microfiber cloth or something. See that? Take the dullness out of it. And what you want to do, you want to knock it back down with a microfiber cloth because you want to you don't want everything sticking in it. Dust, dirt, ground, whatever. Lint. Stuff that's in the air coming from the cotton fields or whatever. You don't want stuff sticking in it. So you're going to want to take a microfiber cloth and kind of just knock it down. But as you can see, the mineral oil does work really well. Giving you some pop. What's going on with it here? See that? It's going to give you some nice pop. And all your discoloration areas, like right here, for example, it's going to put the pop back into that, as you can see here. Just keep kind of massaging it down in there. Just rub it to it, kind of go down to the material, the plastics. As you can see, the coloration is leaving. So you just continue that process. Make sure you clean it first, though. Right here, see how dull this look? Watch this. Give you some pops here. Kind of go down to it. Check it out. Like so. See that? And how your trim looking good in no time. But first. Definitely make sure you clean it. You're going to want to clean it first. So you want the mineral oil. You want the mineral oil to have a really good bond. So when you clean it first, you're going to want it to do that. Because um, it won't have its best chance to bond over top of dirt. And everybody should know that. So I just want to share this one with you guys, man. I'm just primarily out here working on this one for the day. And, um... <laughs> Just taking around, nothing special. No big deal. 
We just like to have something to do. Y'all know how we do. We just keep them going, you know. Just try to have something to do, that's all. But yeah, man, this is what it is, man. Here for the day, we're working on the Cherokee. The Cherokee. All right. And that's what it is. I got to paint all up on this undercarriage and stuff here. I'll soon get to it. All right. You know, that's what it's looking like. Check it out. Looks good, doesn't it? Y'all know me, man. I'm already bringing y'all some good stuff. The first video you'll see is why I use the mineral oil on the tires. And now I had to take it to the next level. I had to try it out on the trim, man. So let's see what it do. That's how we do it. Y'all know that's how we do. <laughs> okay. Let's come back from a distance, man. And it holds right there. Like I said, you're going to want to knock it down a little. Because some fat is kind of greasy. It's kind of thick, too. So you're going to want to knock it down a little bit when you use this product. So uh, there you go, man. Make sure you clean your trim first. This is what I'm working on for today. Anyway, just tinkering around with some. Nothing special. But uh, y'all see it. Alright guys, man. I'm about to get off here. Continue cleaning up my truck here. If you guys new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And uh, yeah guys, man. Get on that mineral oil. Y'all see how good it does on trim. Works wonders, man. Does a great job. Give it some pop. Like I said, you're going to want to knock it down some. You don't want it overly greasy. Where it's going to pick up track a lot of dirt and ground. You don't want that. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. And I'm out of here. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.